What's up old school homies? I'm gonna give you guys some easy tips on how to store a guitar. I got several guitars here and they require a little bit of maintenance here and there just to have them sitting here. And a guitar is pretty much a piece of wood that's still alive even though it's dead. It can decompose a little bit further and a little bit further if you don't take care of it right. So. I'll go through a lot of the different things that are kind of like no-no's of storing guitars. Uh, the first one, just not having a stand. Like, just put it on a stand so that you'll play it. Like, if you're not going to play it, just put it in a hard case and then put it in the closet. Don't even take it out and put it over here. Like, just hide it away. Like, you, you put it in a coffin, basically. It's not going to get played. Like... Cases are really good for when you go on the road, but like, and if you have like a big studio and you just want to put everything in one area, but I'm saying like, if you're going to play it all the time, it's got to be sitting here. So give it somewhere to sit down. Now you're going to see people, they buy all these racks where it chokes it at the top and it hangs. I'm more skeptical about that on, on guitars where the headstock goes off to one side like this more than guitars that are more evenly um, made or like you know just this whole guitar is more weight on one side of it than the other side so if you ask me if it's being choked by one of those instrument holders it's pretty much leaning off to one side at all times so if you can avoid choking your guitar with one of those <laughs> There's nothing wrong with choking your guitar, you know, like, but it doesn't look like feng shui either, you know, it just looks like it's like, like it's just dying there, you know, like, what are you doing to it? Unless it's an acoustic guitar, just do it to an acoustic and then just leave all your electric guitars sitting in like a low spot. They like to sit down on the ground, man, like they want to Indian style, you know, just chill out there and meditate. These guitars, I would say that they're in a chill state <laughs> right here. They're slightly leaning back. Um, the other things to seriously consider are leaving the strings on your guitar. Okay, this is the first folly of everybody that stores guitars. And if you don't have it in tune with the strings on it, it's pulling the guitar neck in some weird way. Either it's getting, it's not in tune because strings are too loose, it could start to go backwards. Strings are too tight, it's going to pull the neck forward. Both, not ideal. Now you can fix it with the truss rod. So another thing when storing a guitar is to store it with the neck straight. Like, um, you could have a little bit of relief in it if you're going to play it. But if you're planning on leaving strings on your guitar keep it in tune and that way it's going to pull evenly on the neck. Now you're going to find people that have a guitar for sale with some broken strings off of one side. Okay. Folly, the neck could twist. All right. You're only getting neck pulling on one side, not the other side. Maybe he broke off all these strings and now you have a problem. Or you have no strings on the guitar. That's, a, that's another thing. I'm not going to play it. I'm just going to cut all the strings off. Also not a good idea. That is going to more likely throw it backwards. And that's harder to fix with just truss rod adjustments. But do adjust the truss rod before you want to store a guitar. Keep it accurately in spec. Don't just let it get worse and worse and worse. That's what people really do. They don't play a guitar because it just progressively gets worse. They never adjust the truss rod. They say the guitar sucks and then they get some new fancy guitar when all they had to do was take this little cover off, hit it with the hex head, do a little crank of roo, and you're good. So, don't buy guitars with just half the strings on it either. It's just, you have way more risk of the neck being twisted. Don't buy guitars with no strings on them. Only buy guitars, you know where it's in tune. Now, weather changes are gonna put your guitar out of tune. 
my personal belief is it's the strings like metal shrinks and it pulls on the neck harder so you're gonna get more dramatic neck bow faster if you're leaving your fleet of guitars one step over tune and that's what will happen once it started getting really cold I checked at each one of these guitars and they were all a whole step over so they were all having their necks pulled on essentially just letting you guys know some of the simple things you can do um, they're usually in relation to you know the neck the neck is vulnerable okay like the body usually isn't going to crack of course the body would like not a super dry environment sometimes two-piece guitars kind of like cup more or one-piece guitars which hardly any of them are those are more likely to just cup and that'll throw throw you in a, a wrench too with tuning stability and all kinds of issues but um Basically, leave strings on your guitar, even if they're rusty strings. Just put the guitar in tune and leave it. If you have to put it in a case, keep it in a non-moist environment. Once moisture gets to pieces of metal like this, or you live at the beach and you just have it like hanging out outside all the time, it's just going to rust right up every single part of it. It's just, and then you really got to do some work.